Hey guys, it's Ross Scott and on the Spice Couch today. Popped into a local charity shop yesterday and picked up this for £1.50. The illustrated Wind in the Willows with Kenneth Graham. Um, who's the lady who's done it? Inga Moore. So I'll just open that up so you see the full illustration there. Because I had a look through this and the illustration is beautiful. Very much like Brambley Hedge, if you know that. So, let's see. Stuff like this. Toad of Toad Hall, I mean, classic of my childhood, many generations' childhoods. Then you just see the chapter pages, they all have nice little illustrations there as well. But yeah, for £1.50, it's like, had to rescue it. I mean, the artwork is just amazing. And it's very much the sort of thing you'd see on um, crockery and stationery and all that sort of stuff. It's just beautiful. I mean, I know there was a more recent version of Wind in the Willows done, an animated one a couple of years ago, but it's like when they redid um, Watership Down, I just don't care for the animation style. I mean, look at this, it's beautiful. Sometimes the old animation styles are better than the modern ones, like the classic Disney cartoons, for instance, you know? Can't beat that animation style. Even things like the early um, Tom and Jerry's are much better than the later ones. Let me see some there. Supper was a cheerful meal, apparently. What's this? That's beautiful. Look at this and this. So nice. I mean, the inscription on the front page, this was someone's first birthday present. Not that he would have been aware of it, um, so I don't know how long he had it. But yes, look at this, isn't this just wonderful? Mr. Badger it mentions here, this looks like winter. It also reminds me a little of the Red Wall series by Brian Jakes, which I read as a child. I've still got many of their books here as well. have to... Um, present those to you at some point, but they're buried in the vault somewhere. But yeah, this artwork is just glorious. And look at this, this is wonderful. This is just like a Christmas card. I mean, I love Christmas cards that are like this with that like seven, uh, 18th, 19th century sort of village on it. Hmm. They're looking in the window. Hmm. Oh. Mr. Toad, it says, that'll be Toad Hall maybe, I'm not sure, is that just a village again? This is very nice. Hmm. They'll be in Toad Hall here. But yeah, like I say, £1.50, it's just glorious. Look at this, it's beautiful. I wonder how much this would have cost originally. Hmm. And this is just... Oh. I mean, you can see why I got it. It's like the artwork alone, never mind the classic story that it tells. Oh dear. This looks worrying. The fox. <laughs> And there's the caravan and the horse. Uh, one more maybe? Let's see what we can do. And finish on this one, I think. Looks like they're having a wonderful tea there. So, yes, the Wind in the Willows classic story comes up every now and again on TV or on iPlayer and stuff. The artwork for this is just beautiful. Like I said, had to get it, you know. £1.50. Well, let's just see um, when it was published, this version, if it says. I don't know that it... No, I don't think it does. It was 14 99 though. But yes, absolutely wonderful. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestion for a content topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.